playtime and so today I'm going to show you how to make plastic out of milk. Out of milk, that's right, the milk that you drink. So basically it's a science project on how to make plastic out of a glass of milk. So what you need for our activity today is vinegar, milk, a big cup or a mug, a bowl, some serviettes or paper towel, a sift or a sieve or whatever you would call that. Some scissors, maybe just in case, I don't know, so I just put them there. Um, some food coloring of what you would like your plastic to look like. And I've just got a cookie cutter, which I've got a little gingerbread man. So let's try and make some plastic out of milk. So the first thing you need to do is pour some milk into our cup. So you can use any milk at home. Um, you don't have to use a certain brand or anything. Um, so I'll just fill that up in there. So I'm only filling it up halfway in my big red cup. So I'm going to put the milk in the microwave for two minutes and we want to get it to just before boiling point. So you can use the saucepan if you like, but I feel that the microwave is so much safer. So let's start heating up our milk. Okay, so now that we've heated up our milk for two minutes, which is basically one cup. So one cup of milk for two minutes. So if you do two cups of milk, it needs four minutes. So just remember that. So to one cup of milk, you need three to four tablespoons of white vinegar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour the vinegar into this cup here. And that way we can just put it all in together and we're not putting too much in and it's all basically measured appropriately. So we'll pop that bowl aside and we'll get our vinegar. And we're just going to do one, two, three, and four. So four tablespoons of the vinegar. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour the vinegar into the hot milk. Ready? And what's gonna happen is when I pour it into the milk, it's gonna make it really clumpy and really like, like, like gross looking. <laughs> Very gross. It's gonna look like cottage cheese. All right, are you ready? Okay, so I'm going to now pour the vinegar in and you'll see what I mean with it going clumpy. Just keep mixing it. Mix it all the way through. And you can see now that it's gone really clumpy and it's really separated it. So now what I'm gonna do is using my sifter, I'm now going to pour this into it. So be careful because it will still be warm. But I'm just basically gonna do that so then it basically leaves only the clumpy bits behind and all the moisture gets left behind in the big bowl that we don't want. And we've got all the hard stuff in the sifter. So I'm just gonna get rid of this now. And it's actually not that hot. It is warm, but just be careful because it's, you know, you don't want it to hurt you. So now what we're gonna do is put this into our white bowl because we wanna make sure that we can put some food color in there. I wanna make mine pink or, or red. So I'm just gonna pop a drop in there. We don't want too much. Oops, may have been a bit too much. Just so that I can have a bit of color in mine. And I'm just gonna use my fingers. Maybe wear gloves if you don't want your hands to get colored like mine. But you know what I'm like. Okay, and then what you wanna do is you wanna squeeze it and squeeze it and make sure that all the moisture's out. And then we wanna get our paper towel and we wanna push it on our paper towel. And we wanna make sure that everything is out. Just really push onto it. And you can see that's quite hard. Now, we have to leave this for a day or so just to see how it hardens. Um, because it says over time it will harden. You can't play with it like Play-Doh, uh, otherwise it will break. But what I'm gonna do is use my gingerbread man, do a gingerbread cut, and there's my gingerbread man that's made out of plastic from milk. So now we just have to leave him to dry and we will come back to our gingerbread man, which is not gingerbread man, he just looks like a gingerbread man. We're gonna come back to him in another day or so and see how it hardens and how it turns into plastic. 
So let's see what we have in a couple of days time and we'll see how this little gingerbread man dries out and whether he's quite strong like everybody says he is or not and um, yeah we'll give this science experiment a thumbs up or a thumbs down because we don't know how this is gonna work but so far this is pretty cool guys like this is worth a try at home vinegar and milk who would know so definitely try this one at home but we'll see what we've got in a couple of days and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've left my little milk gingerbread man for two days and he has dried out to the point where it is hard. Like, you can't even bend this gingerbread man. So this experiment is 100% awesome and it definitely worked. Definitely try this for a science project or a, um, a science fair or, or whatever because like, this is worth an A+. This really worked exactly to the measurements that I used. So I've left it for a couple of days, it's dried out, it's easy, it's awesome, and you can make whatever you want. I've heard some people make jewelry out of this stuff. Don't eat it, it's not edible guys, so it will make you sick if you do eat it. So definitely don't go there. But definitely try this experiment, definitely put it into the science fair if you're going to one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now. Bye.